NBC 10 News Sunrise starts right now. Happening today, coronavirus crackdown. The new rules Massachusetts is putting in place to try to stop the coronavirus spread. We're basically hitting coffee paste for the day we had yesterday. High heat and high humidity as we head back into the 90s. Coming up, I'll let you know how long all this hot weather will last. Yeah, and Decision 2020 ballot challenge. Why the Rhode Island Republican Party is appealing to the U.S. Supreme Court over a change to mail ballot requirements. As we say good morning and thanks for waking up with us on this Tuesday. Yes. There Make she is. way for the sun. Here she is. Yeah. It's good a, morning. It's a warm, muggy start out there once it again. It sure is. It is a hot summer day. In fact, it's Tuesday, August 11th. I think we'll send it right over to Christina to see how hot indeed it's going to get. We haven't seen triple digits yet. We've seen one 100 degree day this entire year, and that's it. And hopefully it'll stay that way, right? Uh, just to recap, yesterday we hit 93 degrees. That was our high. Now today we're forecasting 92, and if we also reach 90, degrees on Wednesday. It'll be our third heat wave of this summer. So get ready. It's going to be a scorcher again today. Our temperatures currently are in the low and middle 70s, ranging from Providence to New Bedford, Westerly. Taunton's one of the warmer spots inland at 76. We're at 73 this morning in Newport, but those dew point temperatures, that's what we really have to talk about this morning. Very high. Our dew point temps in the low 70s. This is tropical. This is soupy. Make sure you have that air conditioning running all day long. You'll need it. So it's not just those temperatures that are climbing into the low 90s today. It's that humidity stays that stays high as well. So the combination of temperatures and our dew point temperatures will make it feel like at least the middle to upper 90s today. Coming up, we'll take a closer look at some rain that's in our forecast. Mario. All right, thank you, Christina. Providence Police investigating the death of a man found near Roger Williams Park as a homicide. The man in his early 60s was found suffering from visible injuries on FC Green Boulevard yesterday afternoon. He was taken to Rhode Island Hospital where he later died. The person's name has not been released yet. We do expect to learn more information from police later today. Rhode Island State Police say it was a Connecticut teenager who died in a crash on Block Island. This happened Sunday on West Side Road. 16-year-old Jackson Panis of Southport was killed. Another male passenger was seriously hurt. A young female driver now charged with DUI and she's doing family court today. Now to the latest on the coronavirus and the number of cases in our area. There are now 28 new confirmed cases in Rhode Island. That is, this is some good news though, the lowest reported number of cases for a single day since early July. Also, no new deaths to report. 93 people though do still remain in the hospital for treatment. Massachusetts is reporting 214 new cases and five new deaths, unfortunately. There's also a slight uptick in the number of people being hospitalized. This is Boston Mayor Marty Walsh says they're trying to determine where exactly the uptick in coronavirus cases is coming from. We're trying to track through contract tracing just to make sure, contact tracing, just to make sure